Connor. And welcome. My name is James. And, and I'm Matt. <laughs> and together we're the Broken Game Brothers. And we just found these for the D-pad. Turns out you can change the, ang the camera angle with it. Do all that cool shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick with the default. Anyways, last time on Skies of Arcadia, we kicked ass in the Dark Rift and finally made it to the Light of the Blue Moon. This time, we're gonna sail north into the wild blue yonder. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to not go into the map screen. I'm going to heal. Back up. <laughs> so, if we keep sailing north, eventually we should run into a boss battle. Like so. Hey, do you hear? Hey, do you hear anything? What? <laughs> it sounded like Ica's voice got, got really very deep. deep. Hey, do you hear anything? I, I mean, beside the wind. Now that you mention it, I can hear something. I'm not sure what it is. It is. It is. Dun dun dun. Random dun 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 dun. Thing. Oh, Purple shit. things? Red what? things? Ships! Oh shit. Oh shit. Um. Um. That doesn't look like they're friendly. What the? Boom. Boom! Notice the capture card isn't screwing up. It's because we're using Brian's capture card again. Because you're too lazy. Because I didn't feel like switching it out. <laughs> They just came out of nowhere and attacked us! It looks like we're going to have to take them down. Battle stations! Let's go! Okay! This is what torpedoes are for! This is the only point in the game where torpedoes are really of any use, in my opinion. Tenko ship! It's another talking ship! Holy crap! <gasps> oh my god! Haha! <laughs> Do you really think you could defeat us? With a big rock still you call a ship? Prepare yourself, strangers! Oh, I don't know no, what the hell that Asian. was, but okay. They're Asian. They're Asian! Okay, um... Oh, hello. Hello? <laughs> Moonstone cannon! Moonstone cannon! I can't even use it. Uh, what am I gonna you do? You could if you just, like, saved up all your men. Uh, men. So I'm gonna use a torpedo for the first time in the game. Isn't that amazing? Uh, I'm also going to drop a Increm. Yes, he's going to drop an Increm. I'm going to drop down an Increm on his ass! Valuant Torpedo. Remember, Valuant Torpedoes are not particularly accurate. However, in this battle, they are. This is because the ships just happen to fly so high. Wait, that what? they mix them more accurate. I don't know how it works, but that's what the game says, so we're going with it. <laughs> Wait, they tell you that it... Yeah, they tell you the ships fly so high that the torpedoes have a better chance of hurting them. Levels. Yep. Did 5,000 damage. <laughs> Jerk. See? I hate him. Kinda weak. Yeah, it's kind of a weak torpedo in the first place. Did they do all the torpedoes themselves? I don't know why they like torpedoes so much. They're stupid. You're stupid. You're jerk. You're stupid. I thought you were playing Kid Icarus. Well, maybe this is more exciting than Kid Icarus. <laughs> oh, is that so? No, not really. It's just that you're bothering me and I can't focus. <laughs> it appears the Afutomen ships can climb to great altitudes. Our cannons can't reach them. Uh... Vice, our cannons may, be able to, may not be able to, but I'll bet there are torpedoes can. We can try firing those as often as possible. Like I already told you. Wait, what? Why didn't you... You should do it on the command phase. I'm thinking! I can still hit them, don't lie! You silly... Can't I only have one torpedo. Because <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to equip another one. Generic cannon. 
I know, that's the only cannon in the game that's just called cannon. <laughs> oh, they're using levels. I should probably heal myself up. No. Aww. Yeah, now they're flying really high. They're jerks. <laughs> Purple magic, too. Ching. Oh, right. Never mind. We haven't gotten there yet. No, we have not gotten there. <laughs> <laughs> At least one thing hit them. <laughs> game like three times. Only. They've been shooting levels at you the entire No. Well, they oh, shot at Cristalli too. Wait, is that supposed to slow you down? No, I don't know. No. No. I don't know! That, like, didn't heal very much. I think so if you have so much health. Boroko! Boom! Well, it's almost dead, anyways. Get it! Rudely interrupted. Let us fire things. Yes. Yep. These battles do tend to take a while because your cannons are a little not as effective. Jerks. Cannon! You know what I think I might blow a sack on that. Yeah, I'm just taking way too much damage here. Cannon! Come on! Wow. Number eight, the space pirate ship. I'll fit um. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mad God Kid Icarus Uprising over the 3DS. He's been I, playing it. I'm not it. really sure how to. I'm not really sure how to react to that. <laughs> I reserve Xenoblade, and I have to trade it a bunch of games to get it. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a really that much money. I'm just trading for anything. Wow, you're play. dying. I am dying. Should I just use the complete All right. Might as well. It's about uh, to die anyways. Yeah, that's true. Remember complete kit is a sacral in for ships. And therefore useful. Therefore amazingly useful. I'm gonna beat these guys eventually, I swear. things happening on one turn. Yeah, that's really what it looks like. Well, technically four. Yeah. <laughs> if you had two secondary cannons or torpedoes. Something like that, yeah. Or four torpedoes. <laughs> you killed it. I killed it! Hooray! Killed it before it killed me! <laughs> it was getting pretty close there. <laughs> well, you did kind of heal, so... You didn't get a cannon strike for that. That's sad. Well, it's not really a boss battle. That's true. Alright! Now for the second boss battle! Tenko flagship! The, the yin, yin Yang! Yin -yang. 
what appears to be the enemy's flagship is approaching. Wow. There are two boats. No, one boat. No, there's two, I think. <laughs> Looks like they're planning to board us. All hands on deck. Yeah, so we went from a ship battle to a regular battle. Yay. Isn't that awesome? It's been a pretty long time. Should be fun. Right, so oh. this, here we get to see the bridge of our ship. Uh, for as you, once. For but you one. Go After you get crew members, you know, obviously, they get placed in various places. Here we have good old Lawrence. Lawrence obviously is just going to take the helm. Because he's the helmsman. Yep. yep. Uh. And there's our badass flag. Aw, yeah. Should have been pink. <laughs> <laughs> Should be pink. The most manliest color of them all. So we're just gonna go down to our deck, which is somewhere over here. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't know. That doesn't look like the deck. That's to not me. the deck. <laughs> Never mind. That looks pretty indoors. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Don't lie to me. I will lie all the time. Why don't you go to the hatch looking? There's the deck! <laughs> I knew that. I don't know. For the way it's. Okay! <laughs> Stop making fun of me, Matthew. I'll make fun of you all I want. Hey, where are they? Deep voice! No, 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 I got this. <laughs> Westerners! We've been waiting for you! You're supposed to sound more Asian. But I okay. don't care. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Who are you? I'll, I'll make you. My name is Drow. <laughs> My name is Mao. They sound the same. Yes, they do. It is our mission to correct 1,000 swords. It's not racist enough, so Matthew. So you must pick one of two choices. Surrender and give up your weapons, or die and we take your weapons. Are you rolling yet? <laughs> <laughs> it is up to you to decide your fate. Uh, what do you think I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna surrender. I don't want to fight. No, you fight is just washback answer, anyways. How about we kick your butts and toss you overboard? Besides, you guys are unarmed. What could you possibly do? Gee, I wonder. I don't know, <laughs> buddy. If I don't want to find your out. Decision, then we must kill you now. <laughs> so, second boss fight. <laughs> the first one wasn't really a boss fight to begin with. It's, uh, fair enough. <laughs> I guess this is the one main boss fight, I should say. So they're both blue element. You know what? I'm actually going to use yellow element. Because I've never used it. Never? Well, I've used it, yeah. The point is, I'm using yellow element. <laughs> oh, so special. Oh, so special. Can they use magic? Uh, not sure. We'll find out. No, I don't want to do that. I take that back. <laughs> you don't <laughs> want to do that, okay. I, I, I have a sort of plan there. So you are going to use Alpha Beach Shield? Yes. That is why I didn't do that. I'm glad you can pay attention, Matthew. Oh, I see. You're going to abuse Justice Shield. Justice Shield, which reduces all physical damage by half. Because these guys are physical attackers, so we're gonna kind of want that. Let's try this. I see now. You're just going to abuse it. I'm also gonna use blue rose during this during this battle just so I can show it, and then it'll never be shown again. Tata me. Oh wow, that was kind of weak. That's because he had just yeah. a shield on. Iragun. Iragun. That looks kind of badass. <laughs> that should hit him too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it should so, be enough to do. Wait, are no. you going to go for blue robes? Wouldn't oh that, yeah, that's right. Wouldn't that entail not wasting? Yeah, that's fair enough. Focus. You're gonna really want to just shield. I'm gonna only gonna use. I'll use Delta Shield for these first two or three turns because I can't remember if they use magic or not. I'm pretty sure they don't because they're mostly physical attackers, anyways. So it wouldn't really make much sense for them to be doing that magic. Ha! 
Yeah, I don't think they... I don't think they use magic, magic yeah. So... So, we're just going to do this. Oh, wait, aren't you... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep attacking with Vice. And then everybody else is focusing. Well, except for... Yeah, <laughs> except for the guy who's not focusing. <laughs> <laughs> except for the guy who's not focusing because he's doing just his shield to protect our asses. <laughs> And maybe the occasional Sacris. Exactly. So yeah, obviously as you get more spirit, it becomes harder to use blue, ro blue robes and prophecy, but at the same time they also get more powerful. Tatarikmoto! Actually, this is honestly a fight I don't really recommend going for blue rogues or going for the full SP because it's going to take so long and these guys, they're not terribly tough bosses to begin with. But I'm just doing it because I really want to get blue rogues out of the way so we can see it. And then we never have to worry about seeing it ever again because it's it much right weaker oh, than, uh, what am I trying to say? It's, yeah, blue it's rogues is weaker prophecy. than prophecy. But blue rogues I think actually does have a secondary effect where it'll heal you up, so it's not all bad. Let's try this. Sorry for that cut and commentary. Ah, you can barely do anything to me, bitch. going to kill him. <laughs> You're going to kill him before I even get the blue rogues. <laughs> like I said, they're not hard bosses at all. Focus. Focus. Focus your willpower! Yeah, I think you're going to kill... I think I'm going to kill Jao before I even get to that point. And <laughs> Which then... is going to be absolutely hilarious. Wow. Um, that was... <laughs> yeah, he's dead next turn. <laughs> That's hilarious. I killed him with a regular attack. He's the first time I've done that to a boss. Not really much of a boss. Oh. That's depressing. Don't. don't. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess it up now. I would still like to highly recommend using Justice Shield during this battle because their attacks are strong. The only reason they're not doing as much damage to me is because of Justice Shield, which is reducing their damage by half. So I'd be dying a lot more without it, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> if dying at all. Let's try this. Blink. Okay, thanks, bye. Okay, we should be able to do it this next turn. He dead. He dead! But now, the other guy is dead too. Because... Ching! I'm for Blue Rogues! Blue Rogues! Attack! Wow, that sounds really weird. This is what I came for. So a very unique thing about the Blue Rogues attack though, is that whoever is in your active crew makes an appearance and it does their, they all do a unique animation. You might have to use it twice to show all the unique animations. I'm not doing that. It's not as terrible. Not really worth it. Um, that's... Interesting! <laughs> you didn't kill him! Probably, probably would have. But see, he does heal everybody by 900 health. Probably does more as you get more powerful. Maybe. <laughs> or it's a just attack. Yes, you can kill him. Come on. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. Okay. So okay. Never mind. He was nearly as powerful. That was easy. Without even requiring 45 SP. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So they're not hard at all. <laughs> As you just saw. You probably could have killed them quicker 
without, without having to do all the SP grinding. Question us. You are stronger than we thought. <laughs> we must report this to our commander. Huh? Uh, 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 what? Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, they're not oh. dead. <laughs> right. Forgot about the ship. Wow. Um, we rule the sky of Yafutoma. And we are known as Tenko. West Moon. We shall meet again. Why do you speak with a lisp? <laughs> because everybody knows Asian people speak with lisps. We're Asian, we don't speak with lisp. <laughs> We're American! Wow, how can that how can they fly so high? They're magic, dude! Blue moonstones hold the power of wind and water. The Yafu Toman ships are powered by these stones. By harnessing the power of wind, their ships can reach altitudes higher that what we can only imagine. Well, looks like we chase them off for now. We should try and find Yafu Toma. I really like the music they use for these parts. It's so Asian. It's so Asian. But wow, that took a full 20 minutes. Well, okay, we're done then. Some of it was cut. No, but for, I'm actually gonna like. Go to Yeftoma City first. I, you'd think they wouldn't let you in after what you just did. Uh, let me check a second. Wait, why the heck did you go over the wall? This is three relax. Oh. Okay. You found the Yafu Toma. <laughs> um. Wait, what? Ancient legends speak of Yafu Toma as a mythical land to the east, covered in gold and populated by proud, polite people. Cut off from the world by dangerous currents, it has been developed in a very distinctive culture. First discovered by Vice, the Blue Rogue. Uh, well, now that I guess we've discovered it, I was trying to look for a different discovery, but oh well. Um, <laughs> you found the city. I found the city. I guess we'll find, there's a few discoveries in this area, we'll find them all next time. While we're in this battle, I guess we're gonna do the outro, I suppose. <laughs> uh, ooh, the new enemy. Two. Two. Gross. Gross. And Jelrica. Gross we fought last time, I just forgot to mention it. So Jelrica, I'm gonna switch over to red for common weakness. And uh, yeah, next time we're gonna go to Yafutoma. Should be a lot of fun. Screw fighting, I have Lambda Burst. My name is James. I'm Matt. And together we're the Broken Game Brothers. If you liked what's up, please subscribe to our videos, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>